Hi boys and girls, it's me, Miss Alexa, and welcome to week five of kindergarten. Here we come. Um, today we're gonna talk about scissor skills. Now, usually when you guys are in the library, we practice together using scissors. I brought these scissors from the library. These are kid scissors. They're the kind of scissors you'll probably use in school. Um, and so it's not, I can't really show you how to cut um, on video, but I'm going to include some, a link to some cutting exercises that your parents can print out if you have a printer at home and you guys can practice. Um, so scissors are very important because you'll be doing a lot of cutting for crafts and that kind of thing. And they're good because they develop your fingers and make sure your motor skills are working. And um, it is always important when handling a scissor to be careful. It does have a pointy part. When you are handing somebody a pair of scissors, it's good to hand them the handle, not the pointy part. So you always hand somebody the scissors with the handle toward them and never run with scissors. Never running, okay? So today we're gonna to read a book about scissors, but also about a rock and about paper. And it's called The Legend of Rock Paper Scissors. So some of you may know how to play rock, paper, scissors, and that is always fun. So let's find out what happens in this book. Long ago in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. So there's Rock. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, rock warrior. So there they are. Rock versus clothespin. There's rock versus clothespin and rock is victorious. Even though he had won, rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of grandma's favorite apricot tree. And there he was met by, the, by an odd but delicious fruit although does not look happy. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus the apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. But look, Rock is victorious. Ugh, I am smushed. And yet smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of mom's home office, one lonely and windswept desk, there was a great warrior who sought the glory of battle and his name was Paper. There's Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large and square monster. What is that guy? I gobbled the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, you giant box maker. So it was paper versus 
the computer printer. No, a paper jam. Ah, paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter in Death Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah! Paper versus the half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard. He's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? So no one could beat rock and now no one can beat paper. And so with a heavy heart, paper departed the empire of mom's home office. There he goes. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. What is that? I will battle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissors versus a roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on acro across the kitchen realm to the frigid waste of refrigerator and freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversary yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. Oh, could they be dinosaur chicken nuggets? <gasps> I have come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, Swordmaster. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. It's true. Dinosaur chicken nuggets are delicious. So scissors versus dinosaur chicken shaped nuggets. Do dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait. No, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so rock, paper, and scissors traveled beyond their kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was their equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of the two-car garage, rock and scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I am wearing my battle pants, weird scissorly one. Rock versus scissors. Now who usually wins on versus rock, paper, scissors between rock and scissors? Do you know? Let's find out. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, scissors for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. Dun, dun, dun. Who will win? 
look what happened. This is how paper battled rock by laying on it. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks like, like no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? I think paper is always a little bit confused. Scissors versus paper. Oh, look, you beat me. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. The end. And this was the legend of rock, paper, scissors, um, written by Drew Daywalt and published by... Dun, dun, dun. Bowser and Bray. So we thank you very much for letting us read this story. And so boys and girls, that was the legend of rock, paper, scissors. I hope you liked it. I think it was funny. And remember, I'm going to include those scissor skill um, papers that are for the, I don't know what I'm saying, the scissor skill papers in the link. So see if your parents are able to print them out and if you can practice at home using your scissors. Okay, and that way you can get better and better at cutting. Have a great day, boys and girls, and I'll see you next week for another edition of Kindergarten Here We Come. See you.